Okay, here we are, live at the uh, LA Auto Show. Um, this is the Model 3. Um, I'm gonna wait till some people get on here, but I wanted to, uh, first of all, disclaim everything I say is my opinion. It's not meant to be construed as an investment recommendation. Um, I don't know if anything's suitable for you. We are Tesla shareholders. We are big Tesla bulls. Um, so I'm here at the LA Auto Show. Um, this is Tesla's new and improved uh, booth. And as you can see, um, there's a ton of people. Um, all you shorts, you spend your time in front of your computers instead of out here with the people. Okay, this is Audi. It's huge. No, it's and there's more people in a small section of Tesla than there is for this huge Audi exhibit. Okay, now this is Tesla. Okay, notice the people are mobbing. You can't get in a car. They come around. Every time you try to get in one, there's five other people jump in. Um, that is the kind of, not one car company here has any demand, anything close to the interest that you're seeing here at the Tesla booth. And this is the thing that these idiots who are betting against Tesla don't understand is that people want this car and they're gonna make these cars and they're gonna work. Um, so here's the, uh, the Model 3 again. Um, notice it's just, just like throngs of people around these cars constantly coming in. Um, you know, the, the show just opened not too long ago this morning. But if you come over to GMC Trucks, well, this is California, not, not that exciting. People don't care. Um, Jaguar, which has some nice models. Um, you know, people are somewhat interested in Jaguar, um, so on and so forth. But then you come over back to Tesla. And it's a crowd. Um, so, you know, this is the Model 3. So I'm going to go through the Model 3 real quick with you, and then i got to go. Um, and I'll post more pictures later. Here's the front of the Model 3. Um, I don't have time to comment back. Um, and uh, here's the sides. Uh, now, wait till you see the insides of this car. There's never been a car I've ever made like this. Um, and I highly... Uh, if you look inside, it's got a panel. It's, it's like the cleanest design I've ever seen for a car. There's really never been a car like it. Now, the other interesting Tesla thing is Tesla didn't put Model 3 on the back of the car. So Model 3s actually have no thing on the back that says it's a Model 3. It's just the Tesla logo. The car looks like a Model S except it's got mostly like a, uh, I would say it's more like a, a, a shorter back, a short butt. Um, but the rest of the car looks very, very similar to the Model S uh, in many ways. Uh, I can't, I'm trying to get near the car. I mean, this is the, the kind of demand that you rarely see for a car. Uh, I mean, just people of all walks of life just fascinated by this automobile. And I'm not able to get near the car. Here, let me just push by these people. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. So as you can see, um, it's 59.5. Yeah, so this is a $60,000 model. Um, look at it. You can see the logo of the Audi exhibit in the background of the lights. But I'm trying to get that out of there. Um, but if you notice, there's, there's no other components on this car other than just a screen and wood. Uh, it's beautiful, really. I, I've, ne I've never really seen a car like this. I mean, it, it, if you're looking what the future of autonomous driving and driverless cars look like, um, it's really this, where you just basically get in the car and it'll take you to your destination. So that's the future that they're building here at Tesla. Um, but uh, I have to say, I, I'm pretty impressed. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm hopefully getting mine in the next quarter. But, um, but you know, when you're talking about a car that costs you know, $60,000 souped up. Um, I, I think it's hard to find anything like this Model 3. Um, and not to mention the beauty of the design. I mean, you know, you come around, you, you, you know, you show up. Um, you know, it, 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 I would argue that it looks a little bit like a pushed in Model S. It's a little shorter. Um, it's got um, a little pudgier feel to it. Um, it's, it, it's, it's roomy, um, but not a big car. Um, it's sweet. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go for this red with black rims and black uh, tinted windows, um, or go black on black. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, but anyways, I wanted to give you guys the first look at the Model 3 at the LA Auto Show. Um, they have said that they are 
uh, shipping cars out. They have very little information to give. Um, but I recommend you make your reservation now or else uh, you'll never get this car. So anyways, I wanted to give you the scoop on the LA Auto Show Tesla exhibit. Um, I'll take you back over here to Audi where there's like, you know, a handful of people. Um, as you can see, uh, very, very different scene. Um, they've spent a lot more money at Audi uh, to try to get interest. And then you come back over here to Tesla. Um, by the way, I went by Porsche, okay? Porsche has no e-car at the thing. They've got a couple, you know, decent looking hybrids that they're marketing. They have no electric car coming out anytime too. And I, I see Porsche being the big risk to Tesla as far as, you know, building a really sweet electric car. But they have nothing, okay? They're not even close. So the German automakers are not a risk to Tesla at all, and certainly not GM and Ford. Um, they're not in the same hall, but the GM and Ford area is basically empty. Um, and, you know, I don't think anybody's excited about a fleet of bolts or bolts. So, um, nevertheless, um, you know, it's very encouraging to see the consumer interest in the product. Um, of course, Tesla was smart to be right at the front door here when you walk right in. Um, but compared to the Model S, it just it basically looks like a Model S push in. Um, so you can get one, a souped up one, for a good thirty to $50,000 less than a Model S. You can get a Model 3 and it's a beautiful car. I think people are going to be very happy with it. So anyways, I'll let you guys get back. i got to eat lunch at some point. Um, hopefully, uh, they also have solar. They're marketing their Powerwall and solar here too. So Tesla, you know, trying to leverage their, their brand and also smartly not taking a lot of space and wasting a lot of money. So um, that's the Tesla exhibit um, and I hope you enjoyed it.